we play turbo dota regular dota is turbo dota and these games still last 45 freaking minutes what what is wrong with modern dota dota 2 has surely changed over the years but a, a lot of times i have to ask myself has it changed for the better i don't think it has when i go look at some stats from older internationals and older patches i think it's pretty telling what kind of issues we have with modern dota so the first thing i want to look at are some older stats from a specific international 2014 it came out I believe on the 6.84 patch is what they played it on, which was pretty goaded back then. That patch was awesome. So the 2014 International was played, was the last International played before the bounty runes were introduced into the game. This was in 2014 on the 6.81B patch. The reason why I wanted to bring this tournament up is because I wanted to take a look at what Dota was like at a slower pace in an older patch right before the bounty runes were introduced because I feel like that was the turning point where Dota turned into a different game and I have the stats to prove it so we'll take a look if you look at the average winning GPMs of the winning teams in the international 2014 so if we look at the games newbie played newbie won Vici takes the first 2.2k newbie 2.2k newbie 2.1k and newbie 2.2k which is an average of 440 GPM per player. Now, if we look at the international right after that, international 2015, we can see that that patch was absolutely goaded. 6.84 was a hell of a time to play Dota. Man, it was such an exciting time back then. Look at 10 new items introduced. I don't know if you can count Observer and Central or just new items. They just made them stackable in the uh, inventories, but we got mangoes, goaded, glimmer cape, Dude, Glimmer Cape, I hated it at first because what it introduced was it basically people were using it as an offensive item on supports, like a pseudo shadow blade for supports, right? Giving supports an invis ability for 2000 gold just ticked me off so much. This, this was the beginning of the end where they started power creeping older patches by just making new stuff that was unbelievable. So Lotus Orb also got introduced is a complete staple. That Lotus Orb just overshadowed Lincoln Sphere most of the time. If, if you know, why would a core build Lincoln when your support can build you a Lotus? That's another thing I didn't really like. Again, power creeping existing Dota by making new Dota. The changes to Observer Wards were great. Octarine's a really awesome item. Silver Edge is awesome. Solar Crest is awesome. Boots of Travel 2, awesome. And then the introduction of the break and mute mechanics. This was actually pretty great. I like this. And then you had golden XP changes. And this was the massive change in this patch, if you ask me. This is what, if you look back on this patch, like, yeah, we got great items. But this golden XP change in this patch was insane. So what this patch ended up doing was it reduced the single target gold by like 10, 20%, something like that. But then it gave AOE gold to all your teammates involved in the assist. So it gave them like a base of 200 or 100 plus 20% of their spot on the net worth or something. It, what it ended up doing was ex super accelerating the game from kills. And at this in this same patch, they nerfed the gold from every single jungle camp. Ancients included, it was all nerfed. And then kills were just on steroids. So they wanted you to fight. They wanted you to use these new items. This patch was a lot of fun to play. Like, like I said, this was goaded Dota back then. This was so much fun to play. But now looking back on it, this was the beginning of the end. So bounty runes were introduced and we saw that they didn't really have an effect on the overall GPM of the game. Because if we look at 2015 TI winners, it says Shopify. Oh, it has their new names now. That's fun. So this is uh, EG. EG 2.2K, 2.1K for the winter dawn, 1.9K and 2.1K. So we can see that these 2015 stats after the bounty runes were introduced. This is a year after the bounty runes. And this is the 6.84 patch. International 2015 was on this patch, dude. The EG won the patch with Glimmer Cape and Lotus Orb. So we can see right away it didn't have a lasting effect adding those bounty runes. But now if we jump ahead and look at the last two internationals and their GPM, we can see that the game is massively different. We are getting almost a thousand extra GPM at peak on the team. A thousand gold extra per minute. What? How? How is? How are we coming up with an extra 1,000 gold on the map? What happened to this game where that much money is on the map available? I just want to say 
Modern Dota is Turbo Dota. If we took the pace of the game back in 2014, the tactics and the strategy, the weight and the heaviness of all the movement, you still had couriers back then, you still had to pay for your Observer Wards. Dude, it was just a different time. There was just more weight to your movement and and now it's just cracked out. You got extended map zones, you got like double the jungle camps, you got you got the tormentors for free ags, you got at free ags from Roshan, you got teleporting from one end of the map to the other without using a scroll. You get free teleporting scrolls when you die. Observer wards are free. Bounty runes are all over the map. You can get free health from the lotus pools. All of these changes to me made the game cracked out and also in the same sense it lessened the effect of having a like a bitch support a position five supporter because if you can get healing in the lane from your lotus you don't need a support if you can teleport around the map and gank as a core you don't need a support what has this game come to we are just so far beyond what started the greatness of dota and the tactics and the strategy and the the weight of everything you did in the game and now it's just all just throwing paint on the wall it's just chaos everything is so sped up and then here's another telling thing tier 2 tower armor in 7.23 was 15 armor tier 2 tower armor before the 6.84 patch so like right before international 2014 the armor was 25 and they changed it to 22 20 the game used to have 25 armor on tier 2 towers we play turbo dota regular dota is turbo dota and these games still last 45 freaking minutes what what is wrong with modern dota they have power crept everything they power crept supports they power crept observers you can get free observers on the map just by walking to those stupid little totem things and ah oh, dude modern dota sucks.